space is not the final frontier, it's your wallet. But vacuum safe containers come from Orion merchants passing by. How about you just give me a tow or jumpstart my enterprise? <laughs> what a wacky way to explain it, but two new premium tanks in the loot boxes, already covered those, but eight relatively recent premium tanks. That's the GSOR Tintin FB or the Kari. Nothing out of the meta like 59 patents or Panther 88s, T25, pilot number ones, you know, old garbage dust collectors, but the 3D style for the AAT60 is separate. We have already mentioned that. Crew members, the supporting characters, experimental equipments, crew books, premium account, credits, yada yada. But yeah, it's funny that the supporting cast or crew members has one more skill than the actual commander, Kirk or Spock or Uhara. But all right, fine, whatever. So. Yeah, 10 vehicles, 2 new premium tier 8s. So most of the vehicles are relatively recent. Relatively. The oldest one is likely the Black Bulldog or just the Leg Panzer M41. That is probably the oldest one, the eldest out of this bunch. But I have a list of the gold cost if you get compensation. So the highest value you could get as a comp or duplicate is the Kari if you already have one but the lowest one is the light tank obviously so no tier 9s to inflate the actual gold compensation unfortunately but eh, it's okay I guess uh, also 2D styles that whatever decals con <laughs> also the Borg cube is here that's from the Patrick Stewart the next generation right I don't know, haven't watched Star Trek in like 15 years or something, <laughs> holy crap. <laughs> so the same mechanics with the 50 boxes of guaranteed premium tank because gambling is a thing, so preventing, you know, lawsuits and stuff, but no hidden surprises to the stats, hopefully. From initial glance, I took an initial glance, nothing seems out of the ordinary. It's still the same stats, still the same nerfed. Uh, nemesis as well as buffed AAT60 but yeah all the stats remain the same from our review or the recap but it's also funny how there's a big gap between the top bundle of 300 to the next one which is only 50 why not a 150 or just 100 loot box package it jumps from $254 to $45. That is a big gap. <laughs> That's a sixth of the actual biggest bundle, but that is close to a Nintendo Switch, folks. All right, enough wasting time. Let's just open up the boxes. I have 300 and you have to open them manually. There's no bundles of five or packs of five, so we're gonna be here for a while. We are going to be here for my animation or my luck is garbage. You already know, but premium account and a British crew book. Do not show animation, so this will help out with the 299 boxes. All right, so there's no guaranteed gold, but it's obviously cheaper than Hall the Ops boxes. Hall the Ops boxes is like one for two dollars or so default price and they say we're not going to sell experimental equipments or components yeah okay sure <laughs> like with the mutant m6 also you could get just one freaking personal reserve for credit and that's it that is measly that is paltry levels that costs one buck that is crazy but well, then again, one one buck gets, gets you nothing nowadays. Like not even a candy bar, Jesus. But okay, mentioning the devil, it'll come back. Personal reserve, that's even worse than the credit one. Credit one is actually more useful than like a thousand XP grind. <laughs> yeah, okay. How about a premium tank? Since I mentioned it, 
premium account, premium tank. Oh, premium, premium tank. tank? Oh, okay. Ask and you'll never receive. Okay. Experimental equipment is pretty decent, especially the total charge thing. Or the ability thing, but... Mm. Like I said, experimental equipment, how about a new tank? Ask the devil. Oh, Sulu, okay. That's a big pack. I mean, it's so random. It can have multiple rewards from or containing items from the container, but you just get one credit or 50,000 credits or just one personal reserve, and that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, just one personal reserve compared to like four stuff. Yeah, okay. Feels bad. <laughs> well, credit is nice, though. What the hell did that pop up slower? Just because of premium count? All right. So, one goes up freaking 300 compared to 50. <laughs> because why not? German. So, 25 is actually 25 bucks. Got a bunch of premium accounts, like a week or two, and personal reserves that collect stuff. Right? We have thousands, even hundreds of the credit ones. So, yeah, I'm set for the next freaking decade. <laughs> I'll play this game. So, as you can see, it's 2%. Is it 2%? Drop rate for the premium tank? It's a little better than Lunar New Year's. The Tony box by 0.7%, but not as good as the 2.4% for all the ops. Granted, all the ops boxes cost more, like twice as much. Ooh, actually, account now. It's actually relatively good, but considering the accounts are practically worthless. worthless. That's quick. All right, now my luck's up to ask you already know. Experimental equipment is only level 1, so it's not the tier 3. Otherwise, it's pretty broken than it is. But, premium tank. You just paid me with a lag. That was a bait. That was a. Aww. Okay, now I've spoken about freaking. That was a good one. Now I've spoken about freaking decals. It started popping up a lot more. <laughs> Three days of premium. Wow. That's a uh, real one day premium. Oh, the 3D size for the AT60. Like I said, you don't have a vehicle. If it was bad, man, it will never be used unless you get the vehicle. Okay. Yep. Yep. Guaranteed. Of course, guaranteed. <laughs> oh, great. Right. You can buy the black bulldog from the pawn shop. But yeah, the cheapest cost one. Okay, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> it's only 5,000. Okay, same thing. Comes after, after, right? This is going to take a while. Oh, yeah, six of the way there, but yeah, black bulldog for 50 bucks is kind of shaky, right? It's only 5,800 gold. You can buy it for bonds if you really wanted one from the pawn shop. Really, it's premium. Ever since I've spoken about the decals or the candles, it starts popping up more, uh, more frequently. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, I was talking about the tanks. Best one, like I said. Actually, the best one is the compass. It was in RH or the AT60, but the worst one is obviously 56 TB. That thing sucks. That thing's utter garbage. Or, yeah, Overstorm Bogget is slightly better than 56 TB, but I would rather play with Overstorm Bogget than with 56 TB. Uh, Kyrie, I don't have it, but it seems decent enough. So, Pocket, Ferdinand, or yeah, Tiger, too, but. Yeah, it's getting slow. Crap. They really need a 5, packs of 5, or packs of 10, but Polyops has some of the better features or mechanics. What do you think about it? Oh, Carl Robins, yeah, I think you, you can only get one out of the supporting cast. You can't get multiple, so you can't get multiple crew members. Otherwise, that's pretty important, too. You just get full sets of zero skill versus arm crew for a bunch of vehicles, so. Uh, it will take a while. Yeah, girls on pants. If you put the loot box with girls on pants, I wonder how players will feel. I mean, given you have sufficient free to play reward track, for example, like you get the P42 for free if you finish missions, you can buy the Tiger 2, and out of the loot box you can get other vehicles like the M3 Lee as a premium or something, or the Hatcher as a premium, so that'll be interesting, but I wonder how the player base will feel about getting additional cast members from something like girls on pants or loot box. Hmm, that'll be, that'll be kind of tilting. It's good on one hand, it's also gambling on the other hand, right? Alright. GSOR 10 FP feels okay, it's not a bad vehicle, it does perform better than a Saladin. And what else is there? I can't remember. Oh, Overstore Wagon is more pseudo, just front of the, front of the vehicle. If you want to get constant one B, but slow. 56 DP sucks. Compass also not is a adrenaline rush of a vehicle, so I mean that one you can get it, but you can actually get it from Advent Calendar from all the ops. Alright folks, just turn up the speed. I'll, I'll turn up the speed if I can do it in freaking post-edit, but Jesus, this is going to take a while. Also, my luck sucks. You see that? Always go to the tick of 50 boxes. Always go to the tick. Oh Christ. So yeah, my luck is terrible. We already know this. My luck is utterly horrendous until the very, very, the, until the very last boxes, but oh god, come on. Just put it on me right. Alright, over storm bucket. Any animation? I should do that. Okay. Oh god, it's going to take forever. It shows you credit. I hear the credits now. Animation doesn't help out too much. Yeah, it doesn't help. Oh man. It's going to take forever. Well, at least the experimental equipment is not as frequent. Otherwise, well, again, there's still experimental equipment. If this thing would have bonds attached to it, that would be a nightmare. That would be like a Rubicon, practically, for working again, putting bonds into your loot box so you can get bond equipment. People will complain. People will definitely complain. They're not going to put bonds into these boxes. Oh, much better. Copy. Just 10. See, like I said, my luck sucks anyway. It doesn't really suck. But all these old vehicles, not the new ones, that's fine. Ugh. What else can I ramble about while well, we're sitting here going through all these boxes? Uh, onslaught. Onslaught. It feels like a chore. I'd rather have the Chevron. I really do wish to just go back to the rank mode with the Chevrons and other stuff. I mean, 7 versus 7 gets really frustrating if one person is AFK. Or just play a light tank and camp a corner of the map when nobody's there. It's only 7 opponents. If you run into one, just run from them, right? If you play a light tank, but no, you can't a corner bush. Do nothing. <laughs> so yeah, 7 versus 7 is really tilting if your teammates are just utterly horrendous. Also, if they AFK or just throws. But god, Jesus. I hate Onslaught with a passion. <laughs> oh, yeah, just complain. That's all you do. Complain to worry about Onslaught and the match making <laughs> the lack of maps. And there you go, just complain. I'll do that. Uh, what else can I complain? Oh, onslaught. Let's finish onslaught. The health. The, the modifiers, they call it health buff to all the vehicles by the percentage. Basically, basically means you'll face off against like seven mouses on Ensk, which is not great. It's a closed map. Nowhere to go. It's a small map. But the cap circle is in the middle of the railroad tracks with a bunch of cover. And you have to kill seven mouses worth of health. That's like almost 30,000 health to go through. Like each mouse has about 4,000 health, 4,200 or something. That's a lot. The nerf super conqueror has about 3,200 health or something, but that's a lot of health to go through. If you choose like light tanks or medium tanks, you'll get freaking health knocked out of your teeth. You just can't kill them enough. There's so much health, there's so much freaking tank here than you are. There's so much health to go through. So that's the downside of percentage buff to HP. Not a great idea. Definitely not a great idea. Especially for closed maps. So obviously carrying towards heavy tanks, but there are strategies with light tanks running out the open field maps. It's available. So good stuff or good maps like Redshire or Glacier. Yeah, play a fast medium tank or light tank could work, but play Ensk, you'll have a bad time. If you choose anything other than super heavy, or even like type 5 is kind of worse compared to a mouse. You're flat compared to a mouse, right? So yeah, metal vehicles are like 60 TP, mouses for Ensk, super conquerors. Uh, I mean, some version. Like, I saw I have 7s. I saw two 7s, but mm, yeah, Onslaught, not the greatest. Definitely not the greatest. I really wish Chevrons are back. Alright, with, with Onslaught being done with, look, I wash my hands of that mode. Finish up the weekly mission, get your improved or bond uh, hardening, which is nice, but afterwards, just completely wash my hands of it. Finally. Don't care about your extra skills or different roles, don't care, don't care. Don't care about your artillery pickup or a recon pickup, don't care. It's not fun. Not really. I'd rather play Frogmars. I'd rather play Steel Hunter than
So, let's see, I don't know the volume too, but there's no music. Well, and there's also copyrights. So, yeah, I don't hear anything. Yeah, alright, back to free or back to guaranteed vehicles, I guess. So, a short burst of the Kari and the AT60, but I'm going off of a tangent anti about the stuff I hate. Yeah, guaranteed, alright, let's do this. Let's guaranteed. Well, it's slower. Animation is still the same. Alright, and then this is a piece of crap. <laughs> alright, back to 50 boxes, let's do this. Um, what else? Can we rent it out? Steel Hunter feels. I mean, we're being a dead horse in the Steel Hunter mode. Granted, it's a little bit better this year because of St. Patrick's Day loot box tie in with it and update to the shop, but otherwise, I'd rather play Frontline. Frontline has been changed dramatically. Originally, for the first iteration of Frontline, you could play artillery with supporting airstrike and artillery strike and recon, which is practically insane. So they have to nerf artillery in Frontline. They just reset the cap all the time. So they actually buff other vehicles to counteract artillery, surprisingly, but smoke screens, minefields, those are not a thing in the first iteration of Frontline, but also for the first iteration of Frontline, it was tier 10, not tier 8. But the Russian server has tier 7 Frontline and tier 9 Frontline. We tested the upgrade from tier 8 to tier 9 mid battle for Frontline, and yeah, getting a concept 1B into Frontline is a nightmare to, well, nightmare to deal with, but yeah, it would be pretty devastating for a tier 8 to go up against a concept 1B straight out of the box. That's not fair, but tier 7s, you'll see a lot of T29s, maybe also good tier 7. Oh crap. I'm thinking about good tier 7s to play in Frontline, but again, tier 7 is a weird comment. Comment has a lot of DPM, right? And very good impression. Uh, eh, yeah, weird. Oh, well. <laughs> What else I'm complaining about maps? Lack of maps. Oh jeez. Oh, why don't they just add the stuff from recon missions and just do micro patches and fixes? It'll be a whole lot better, right? Just add more maps. We don't care. It'll, it'll be kind of devastating to those who are trying to finish up subversive missions that are map dependent. But like, if you get constantly hit with start for a scaling mission or scaling first mission, it doesn't feel too good. If you get more freaking city maps, then obviously dilute the map pool, and you're not going to finish scaling your freaking map with a bunch of buildings. <laughs> All right, I can play now. I don't know, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> I'll see how good the, the cars are, the rovers are. But we'll jump back into the rovers. We'll play with shooting bumper cars practically. So it'll be, it'll be a little relaxing. It'll be nice if you can get out past points from Orion or from the rover event. That'll be nice. Holy crap! I'm not kidding about the waves of my luck. It comes in batches. Holy sh it's like, yeah, you're terrible. You're unlucky until like, a couple of few seconds or a few minutes, like a minute or two, you're lucky. Otherwise, terrible luck for me. I don't know, just to show you that don't buy 300 boxes for $250. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of gosh. Holy crap. I am banking on all 50 now. Oh, that's four times I'm banked on freaking maximum amount. Uh, oh, yeah, no, it's guaranteed. I should be animation. <laughs> oh, I am banked on the edge of the cusp of 50 gear. Oh, nothing already happened. Also, the copy. Okay, fine. Oh, yeah, you can obviously get duplicates, but yeah, 50 boxes feels sad, man. Also, I'm gonna show you the, the before and after. Oh, finally, we got 2D style. Ooh, la la. Out of freaking 220 ish boxes. Oh, crap. That's a good thing. Now it's going to show up all the time. Jesus, yeah, opening boxes takes like 30 minutes. Uh, speed this up, please. Speed up to 2x. So right click onto your YouTube video, just right click. Play back speed up to 2x. It's going to take a while. Jeez. Why isn't there a 150 box option? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> comes in waves. My luck comes in waves. Hmm. Best recent feature in World of Tanks. Oh, crap. I'm asking myself difficult questions to answer. Best recent feature. Uh, I will say random events. That basically adds like half of a map to your gameplay, right? Makes it a little bit more variable in your playstyle, but... Yeah, the random events is probably my biggest enjoyment out of World of Tanks. You know, recent changes or mechanics change. Loot boxes always been there. You know, you have all the options. You have all the So all the mechanics are relatively the same. Battle pass, arcade mode, front line, steel hunter. All feels about the same. So nothing really changed. Yeah, random events is the best. Oh crap! Like I said, folks, my luck is it comes in waves, and the good parts are very skimpy, skimpy or slim. But yeah, pulling the edge of all fifty boxes doesn't feel that good. But yeah, some people have like amazing luck. Seventeen. I saw a comment. Seventeen premium tanks with three hundred boxes. That's very good. But that's like averaging a freaking twenty boxes, twenty five boxes for a premium tank. So mine's not that close. <laughs> I'm edging all the time, digging, but yeah, getting very close to the fifty guarantee. Ugh. If you not receive a guarantee, or a guarantee one first week, like, well, you're gonna receive a premium with fifty Lawsuits, gambling, children with their parents, credit card. This is going to up a lot of premium time and 5x XP coupons, but... Oh, come on, man. <laughs> five times now with a 50. <laughs> is it five times that we edge with 50 or we fully gone to 50? That is insane. <laughs> that is very nuts. That's not pointing. <laughs> yeah, five times we edge towards 50. We got lucky with the comedy and the AT60, like having within 10 of each other, but otherwise... Holy crap. 8,004. Well, confidence is also not already trying to have it, but alright. It'll be nice if they put more 3D style, like over 3D style, but no, 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 no,
which is not half bad, but then again, none of the better ones, none of the golden ones. So those are more specific for different events, but... Uh, <laughs> holy crap. 250 bucks for that much? Debatable, right? Very much debatable. Oh, let's see the crew books. We got a butt ton of crew books as well. Uh, crew books. Nine American, nine German, six Russian, blah, blah, blah. The only thing didn't happen that much is the Polish. I've been saving up Polish books for the tank tutorial, so don't look at the Polish. But yeah, the booklets are okay. They're not that crazy. Not really. And only like two or three of the 3D or 2D styles. One of the 3D styles, a bunch of freaking decals. <laughs> Three of the red ones. There's no other ones. There's supposed to be green. Right? <laughs> there should be green ones, right? Yeah, there should be green or random color ones. Okay. I guess, I mean, lots of freaking camouflage and decals. Where the hell is the camouflage? Oh, it's not even a freaking 3D style. It's a 2D. Uh, it's not even a 2D style. It's just a decal or just a camouflage paint. So theoretically, I've gotten it, but it's not the preset. It's not the preset. Oh, it's only a camouflage. It's not a preset. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> that's not it. Let's see the decals. Yeah, that's not. That's for vehicle performance, not the actual decals. All right. Can I sell them? No, I cannot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I sell these? Oh well. Inscriptions. Ugh. Sell? No. Con! <laughs> well, there you go, folks. Holy crap. Freaking 34 minutes. <laughs> 34 minutes of opening boxes. And my luck is terrible, like you saw. <laughs> Five times edging towards, or just basically on 50. Five times maximum roll before you actually get a guarantee. So my luck is utterly horrendous, but hey, your luck might be better. Or just wait for Girls on Panzer, right? Just wait, wait for Girls on Panzer. Unless you really like Star Trek or something, but yeah, my luck is terrible. <laughs> so as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.